In a year marked by significant advances in artificial intelligence, the Tesla Optimus robot is beginning to stand out as one of the protagonists of this new technological era. Since its introduction, it has generated both enthusiasm and intense debate. While many see it as promising to replace humans in repetitive or dangerous tasks, others express concerns about the impact on jobs and the increasing presence of machines in our daily lives. And it's understandable. Imagining robots taking the place of people can be somewhat uncomfortable. However, Elon Musk has emphasized that his intention is not to create a dark scenario like in science fiction films. Tesla's vision is for Optimus to be a reliable and safe assistant in the home. In the early stages, it is natural for the robot to have some limitations, mainly due to the need to collect more data to improve its performance. But as it receives updates, it is expected to become increasingly more skillful and intelligent, reaching the point of performing hundreds, perhaps thousands, of routine tasks. Unlike humans, robots do not need to rest, which gives them enormous productivity potential. And Tesla is not alone in this race. Several companies are investing heavily in the creation of humanoid robots, some already demonstrating impressive motor skills. The question that remains is, what makes the Tesla bot special, and why is the company so committed to this project, even though it is traditionally focused on electric cars? Let's be honest, who hasn't thought it was weird to imagine a robot helping out with household chores? For a long time, the idea seemed far-fetched, almost unrealistic. The few humanoid robots available to date were slow, clumsy, and barely functional more technological curiosities than useful tools. But in the past two years, that started to change. Global interest in humanoid robotics has exploded, with companies from the U.S. to China trying to turn fiction into reality. Boston Dynamics, for example, is a well-known name in this sector. With robots like Spot, Stretch, and Atlas, the company has shown what robotics can do. Yet, even after years of development, None of these models have been produced on a commercial scale. They remain technological showcases, not everyday products. This has led many to believe that robots of this type would remain confined to laboratories. But that perception is changing. Today, with the rapid advancement of projects like the Tesla Optimus, it is already possible to imagine a very near future, perhaps as early as 2026, in which robots will be delivering packages, folding clothes, restocking goods, or serving customers at fast food chains like McDonald's or Pizza Hut. As surreal as it may seem, this scenario is getting closer. In recent months, updates on Optimus have become more scarce, leading to speculation that the project is on hold. Some have even suggested that Tesla has abandoned the idea. But that's not true. Despite the reduction in the number of videos released, development is ongoing. The last major update came in December 2024, when Elon Musk released footage of the robot walking on uneven terrain. The recent silence appears to be more of a shift in Tesla's communication strategy than a halt in progress. The company expects to start using Optimus in Tesla's own internal environments as early as 2025, with commercial sales expected in 2026. Musk estimates that around 100,000 units could be manufactured by then. The idea is to test the robot in real tasks before offering it to the general public. Inside Tesla's factories, for example, it can clean, transport parts, organize batteries, and even help assemble vehicles. The possibilities are vast. Keeping certain details secret is also part of Tesla's strategy to protect its technology from competitors. By limiting what it discloses, the company prevents rivals from trying to copy or accelerate similar projects, something that is especially important given the speed at which China replicates cutting-edge innovations. One of the great things about Optimus is its ability to always be connected. Unlike common devices like cell phones, it is designed to learn continuously, make autonomous decisions, and communicate with both other robots and the Tesla cloud. This connectivity is the result of decades of evolution, from the cables of the 1970s to today's total mobility. Just as the iPhone revolutionized the world by connecting everything and everyone in 2007, Optimus is ready to explore global networks in real time. 
and there's more. The robot will be integrated with Starlink, SpaceX's satellite internet. This will allow it to operate even in isolated locations, without relying on a cellular signal or Wi-Fi. Thanks to direct-to-cell technology, Optimus can connect directly to satellites, making it possible for it to operate on ships, in rural areas, or anywhere else beyond the reach of traditional networks. Another feature that makes Optimus unique is its mobile, shared memory system. All interactions with it, whether voice commands, visual stimuli, or physical actions, are recorded and automatically synchronized with Tesla's cloud. Through an app, the user can track this history in real time, even from a distance. If a robot fails or needs to be replaced, its memory can be instantly transferred to another model, ensuring continuity in learning and functions. For companies with multiple locations, this is a huge advantage. Imagine a restaurant with several Optimus working. If one of them learns a new task, this skill can be shared with the others without the need for reprogramming. This takes efficiency and cooperation to a new level. More than just standalone machines, Optimus robots are part of an intelligent, interconnected, and highly flexible ecosystem. Imagine if you own a chain of stores, with the price of these robots expected to drop to around $20,000, as projected by Elon Musk. Purchasing an entire fleet could become feasible. However, this affordable price tag is only likely to become a reality once Tesla reaches a production rate of around 1 million units per year. The initial cost to launch will be considerably higher, ranging from $45,000 to $60,000. Still, this investment could quickly pay off, especially for companies that make the most of Optimus potential. Musk has even suggested that in the future, every company will want to have a veritable army of these robots. Since Tesla's bots work in a synchronized network, operating with multiple units allows for efficient task distribution, even across different locations. A robot in a store in Texas, for example, could coordinate an activity with another in New York. This constant exchange of data and learning ensures agility and collective intelligence. In addition, Optimus will be able to share confidential information securely, a feature that offers a competitive advantage over companies that still face difficulties with connectivity or data synchronization. Another way Tesla is trying to expand access to the technology is through a leasing model, which allows companies to use the robots without having to make a large initial investment. This makes it easier to test on a real scale, helping companies assess whether the robot is suited to their needs. For those who adopt multiple units, Tesla can also offer customized plans. For example, a manager can train a robot on a specific task and then share that knowledge with all the others using Tesla's cloud. Each new robot that joins the team will receive this training ready for use. There will be no need to teach everything again, similar to what already happens with the full self-driving system in the brand's cars. By bringing together several robots in operation, a distributed processing system is formed, where tasks are solved collaboratively, going beyond what any isolated artificial intelligence will be capable of doing. And with frequent updates, the number of functions that Optimus will be able to perform should easily exceed the thousand mark, with projections indicating that in the future, this number could reach 5,000 or even 10,000 different tasks. Elon Musk's vision is not just exaggerated enthusiasm. He firmly believes that Optimus will become part of our daily lives, living alongside humans and helping with a wide range of tasks. In the long term, it is possible that every home will have at least one Optimus, perhaps more. Musk has even compared him to the famous robots C, 3PO, and R2, D2 from Star Wars. For fans of the saga, this has enormous symbolic value. After all, C, 3PO was created by Anakin Skywalker to help his mother with her daily tasks. This is precisely the essence of what Musk wants to offer, a reliable assistant present in the home environment. But Optimus is more than just a fictional character. He's not just a modern-day C-3PO. He's a machine with real potential to become a source of income. If used well, he could go from being a mere sidekick to a real asset. Elon Musk has already mentioned that robots will be able to perform thousands of functions, and that list is only growing. Over time, 
software updates could expand these capabilities to thousands of new skills. Imagine a scenario where the robot starts out cooking 10 dishes and, with each new update, learns 50 more recipes until it can master a nearly complete menu, provided you provide the ingredients. Of course, this level of sophistication will take time to achieve. By 2025, Optimus is expected to operate primarily within Tesla's own factories. There, robots will be able to work together, sharing tasks without the need to communicate directly. For example, if a group of robots is tasked with guarding a warehouse at night, they will all remain connected in a network, acting in a coordinated manner even without direct interaction. This ability to collaborate silently is one of the most remarkable aspects of this project. Visually, the Tesla bot stands out as one of the most well-finished and pleasing to the eye humanoid robots available today. Its appearance was clearly designed to convey friendliness rather than intimidation, a stark contrast to many competitors who still embrace more raw designs with exposed wires and robust metal structures. Optimus presents a smooth and refined aesthetic with an almost impeccable finish. If we were to suggest an improvement for the current model or for a future, more advanced Gen 3 model, it would be to add a small screen on the chest. This could make it easier for people to interact visually. However, we understand that this idea could conflict with Tesla's goals of keeping the design simple and affordable. Adding this functionality would require technical changes that could make the product more expensive and difficult to produce on a large scale. Some have jokingly commented that Optimus's gait resembles that of someone exhausted after an intense leg workout, or even President Joe Biden's gait. But this trait isn't unique to Tesla. Robots from other companies, including Boston Dynamics and Unitree, also adopt a similar posture with their knees slightly bent. This engineering choice serves an important purpose, to keep the center of gravity lower, which increases stability and makes it easier to balance on uneven terrain or during rapid movements. Furthermore, this type of locomotion reduces the effort required on the joints, allowing the robot to move more energy efficiently. So, instead of criticizing Optimus Gait, it's best to look at its overall performance, and there is, in fact, still room for improvement. Optimus is not the fastest robot at the moment. It moves at about 1 meter per second, which is considerably slower than other humanoids that already reach twice that speed. In one of Tesla's demonstrations, the robot takes 132 steps in 78 seconds, which is equivalent to approximately 1.67 steps per second. This shows that agility is an area that Tesla will need to improve in future versions. Meanwhile, we've seen promising developments from other companies in the sector. A good example is the startup Figure AI, which has been gaining attention for its fast and effective approach. The company has been attracting attention by demonstrating humanoid robots being transported in trucks and performing logistics tasks in industrial environments, all in a very short time to implement. Its flagship model, the Figure Zero Two, is powered by the Helix AI system, which allows the robot to perform tasks like scanning barcodes, identifying objects, and correcting errors on its own. In a recent video, the robot is seen sorting packages at a secret distribution center. The company's CEO, Brett Adcock, said it took just 30 days to deploy the robots to the second client, whose name has not yet been revealed, but many speculate it will be a major retailer like Amazon or Walmart. Adcock also revealed ambitious plans to produce 100,000 figure 02 units over the next four years. One feature that stands out is the so-called sports mode, which increases the robot speed by up to 50%, making it even more efficient. Another distinguishing feature is 3D depth perception, thanks to the camera installed on the robot's head. This allows for a wide and detailed view of the surrounding environment. Figure 02 also performs automatic checks and adjustments on its own components ensuring greater durability and consistent performance in operations with multiple robots simultaneously. Helix AI is able to quickly transfer new learnings between units without the need for manual adjustments. This drastically reduces deployment time and costs. With this advancement, Figure AI has been gaining a prominent position. Since ending its partnership with OpenAI, 
the company has gone on to develop its own AI platform and is now looking to raise around $1.5 billion in its Series C funding round. If it reaches this target, the company's market value could jump from $2.6 billion to a staggering $40 billion. Figure's plans include bringing its robots to the home market in the future. Helix AI is already compatible with low-power chips, which opens the door to residential applications. The company believes that humanoid robots should, above all, make life easier in the home. Although this is a huge challenge, especially in complex tasks like cooking, which require a variety of movements and adaptation to different contexts. Given this scenario, Elon Musk cannot ignore his competitors. The race now goes far beyond electric cars. While Tesla has a strong industrial structure and several competitive advantages, other companies are evolving quickly. And with giants like Google, Apple, Meta, and even OpenAI targeting the robotics sector, the competition is only going to get fiercer.